like to them it's like okay well he's getting food out of it and an and education like it's and worth he, him fucking risking right. his life every, if he happens every week to, if he happens to die then we don't have to feed him anymore that's true yeah but that's kind of fucked up it like, is but it's a possibility hey, little timmy didn't fucking fall off the cliff why did you have to fall off the cliff? <laughs> no. like well shit i guess little timmy's not coming back i, I guess i'll have another pork chop yeah wow they're all re- eating all rich no <laughs> right but fucking little timmy's over here Getting fucking. free lunch with fucking <laughs> chocolate milks, <Yeah. laughs> yo. When and then when you buy a fuck, when you buy a second chocolate milk for ten cents and you're bawling, the nah, hold up, you, you the flex when you know the lunch lady. Well, Ooh, you don't know her, but like she remembers you for free. Oh, uh, then mijo, like, she hooks you up. That's my that's my lady right there. No. <laughs> Just the apron and the gloves. Let's go. Yeah, like I don't know, like maybe you want like a cool like. Like a stay-at-home mom, like Arthur's mom. She seemed nice. She was a stay-at-home mom. She always she always worked on her computer though. Yeah, but in like the nineties, what the fuck would she be doing? I don't know. Because the dad was a chef. Yeah, the dad was like a yeah, like a chef or like, like a, a like a legit chef, like a baker or something, or like yeah, chef or baker, one of those two. But she was always on her computer in the living room. Nah, maybe she, she did taxes. Yeah, maybe she had to do something because I can't. I guess the nineties were a weird place. I was just say they you can't afford that house that they lived at on a fucking chef salary. That was a nice house with the attached garage. Or I don't know, maybe they lived in the middle of fucking nowhere. They did live in like the suburbs. And then uh cartoons, you know, came up mm-hmm. and then he was like, Yeah, you know, I grew up on this, this and that and I was like, I well I've never I've never said this out loud. Driver. But uh, I never been to Uber Driver. I've never said this out loud, but I used to watch this show that was kind of girly, and I've never admitted to it. And uh, then he immediately was like, as told by Ginger. I was like, oh my god, how the fuck did you know that? I didn't like that show. You didn't, what? I, I, didn't I gave, like it, I gave it, a, I gave it a fair chance. I would always watch it whenever it was on, but I didn't like it. Life is much greener on the other side. I know the theme song. Bro. And then I wanted to talk about uh, Taylor Swift. Hell yeah, I'm down. I'm always down to talk about Taylor Swift. So. <laughs> Uh, let me find the corrections. All right. Mm-hmm. And some of the shit was funny. When I was looking it up, I was like, how fucking wrong were we <laughs> when I was listening? We're doing it? the corrections on, on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We oh, okay, do it for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Trader Without a Radio. You already know how it goes. Trado, Renee from their day. Hey, where'd you put my water, actually? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, we actually ran out of waters. All right, forget it. I don't need water. Yeah. I'll go acapella. No, no, no. Here, here. Damn. I wasn't hiding it from you. That's actually my water. <laughs> no, that was your water, I thought. Yeah, but then I brought another one. Oh. And then when you were no, reading... You, you no, no, you water. were... So, Renee was reading a bottle of liquor that I got for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, So, you were Wait, distracted. you're asking me that you got know, it for right? Christmas? Hey, did I get it for Christmas? No. Uh, you were distracted, so I was like, oh, fuck it. Here's your water. But, um, <laughs> fuck it, he doesn't need water anymore. <laughs> welcome back to another episode. Uh, if you left off on the other episode... If you finished the other episode, you know that at the beginning of this episode, we promised to reveal embarrassing memories from our Facebook. Ooh, okay. Before we start, we got to do that because that's just how we do it. All right. So, what would you have on your uh, on this day on? Mine wasn't that great today. It wasn't. No. Uh, I have a couple of weird ones. Um, one from nine years ago. Okay. That says, "So our radio appearance was pushed back to next week, February twenty seventh. Oh, was that with uh with your buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's when we were on uh. Uh, Radio Arche in Pilsen, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that was a weird one. I have a bunch of random pictures from uh, this conference I went to nine years ago, uh-huh. and I also have this one cool one that I want to bring back real quick. February nineteenth, two thousand twelve. I posted, mm. "I'm bringing this back. Who needs an iPad when you have this?" Then I posted a picture of your Game Boy Color, the yeah. blue one. Did you ever bring it back? I don't even think I ever took it from your room. <laughs> but then you you commented on it like if I was stealing something, uh, you're like, "That's mine!" with five exclamation points. Oh, it's mine. No, so that was that was it for me. Dang. No, nah, my only one was uh, seven years ago, and it's it's like a half a paragraph. Uh, after hearing the type of questions that people are asking about this program, I, I assume this is one of my computer science classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that all computer science students understand about 15% of everything that's taught. Everyone just learns a different 15%, so it looks like everyone's learning. But in reality, everyone's confused as crap, and nobody knows what's happening. Damn. So were you a part of that a different 15%? Apparently. What if that's the teacher's way method of 
learn uh, teaching because if, if the whole classroom split up between fifteen percent, eventually they'll come together and teach the overall hundred. Nah. <laughs> you're like people talk man that class ended i was straight out that door i was gone wow no. damn talk about bell dismisses me not you no the bell dismisses me wait no that's not <laughs> no I, I yeah i said it the opposite yeah yeah you fucked up nah i'm not blaming you no because i wanted to leave even though there was no bell actually shit or was it oh, I, don't know. I don't remember i feel like teachers didn't have that much authority on us and we were like little bitches and we'd be like all right well i gotta well, shut you, up now. you were like seven no <laughs> oh i mean yeah and they were like giants. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm trying to remember now if in college if there was bells in any of the. Did Can you just get up and did, leave? Did Morton have bells? Morton had. Or what no, about the... at the end of however long your class was, you just knew like, hey, this class ends at three. Or what about the the school you went to in the city? Did that one have bells? No, that one was like, uh, different. It was split in between different like uh production like. Like, for, like, two months, we would learn, like, video production, and then for mm-hmm. another two months. So, we didn't really have a schedule. It was, like, Monday... Well, I guess it was a schedule. It was, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're meeting in this building, and then this other building is for, like, I don't know, camera work and shit. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm like, now realizing... I don't know. You're right. When's the last time you were structured on a bell? So, it would have been high school then, right? Yeah, that's weird. Because there was definitely bells there. The fucking the five minute bell in between uh, passing periods. Which now that I think about it, that's not a lot, lot, lot of time. <laughs> it's no. not a lot of time. You got it, you, okay. Let's say it takes you a minute to get to your class, but you got you got to stop and talk to your to your boys for like five mm-hmm. minutes, and then you're already late. <laughs> oh yeah, you're already late. Yeah, it's like yo, what's up? Like fuck, if you run into someone, yeah, like, like it's oh, over. Shit. No. And like, well, I'm late. Fuck oh, it. and then they had the the minute bell, like the bell that rang one minute before the you know before the period was over, you're right. or before the next period started. And when you heard that thing, and you were like, you know, you were on the first floor by like the lunchroom, and your class was on the fourth floor over by like, yeah, the opposite end. You just dip. You just <laughs> like you were running. The the thing I hated though was. When you knew you had to go back to your locker for certain books. Yeah. And it's like, all right, fuck. Now I got to really like bust my ass to get there. No. Well, that's why everyone had their, uh, that's why a lot of people had their backpacks with them all day. Remember? Mm-hmm. Did uh, you ever share lockers? Yeah. Huh. It was convenient. It was convenient. Yeah. But you... it was also kind of stupid. Well, why? Well, how, why? No, <laughs> because all, it's like, I'm all defensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it wasn't it was stupid, but it was like, well, why? Like, well, I guess it wasn't stupid. Let me take that back. Yeah, see? Because, you know... Well, I'm going to think of why it was stupid and then right. I'll come back. Because yeah. I, I see it as, you know, you have your locker on the first floor or whatever, and then you got you got your buddy or somebody else who has a locker on the third floor or something, and say your classes are on the second floor, it's easier to go up to the third floor than to mm. come back down to the first floor. You're right. But did your boy give you the combination, or did you have to wait for him to get to the locker? Oh, no. If you don't have the combination, it's stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you're you're trying to do your shit, go to your next class, and you got to sit there, and your five minutes are up, because this dude is like, oh, no, I didn't go to my locker this time. Yeah. Bro. Bro, what are you doing? Uh, Now I'm fucking late. Yeah, now I'm late, and I don't have my... So I'm late. I'm I'm not prepared. (laughs) My fucking homework's in your locker. I might as well just, I'm going to fucking drop out. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why would I go to astronomy anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Well, that was a quick little uh, memory lane right there. Um, and good. again, you got to watch last week's episode to realize why we even got there. Yeah, that was good, though. I like that. I, didn't, yeah. I forgot all about fucking bells and fucking passing periods. Yeah, for real, dude. Oh, man. And then after gym, you're all sweaty and oh, smell God. like chlorine. No. Bro, but you got to like... You gotta cut, and then in the winter, because you gotta go through underneath the annex, and you gotta walk Ooh. outside. So it's all cold, but it's it feels good because you're hot. Yeah. yeah. Man, Ooh, that was how terrible. about when? You, how about when it's lunch? But like, if you're super late to lunch, you gotta oh, wait in that long ass line. Over. Like, but if you're too early, it's like, damn, this motherfucker is starving. <laughs> <man."> <laughs> <laughs> Look at him; he's running to <laughs> lunch. They don't feed him. No. Well, you couldn't run to to your class, but you run to lunch. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, being late to lunch was like the worst because. If if you showed up late, you know, the lines are huge as shit. And then by the time you get there, like, maybe the thing that you wanted to eat, it's, like, not even there anymore. Yeah, it's fine. So you end up eating some, like, nasty-ass, like, burger that they pulled out last second. Yeah. And then by the time you sit down, like, fucking lunch is over. Yeah, you got, like, five minutes. And yeah. then all your boys are already taking up the whole table, so now you got to squeeze in there like yeah, a Yeah, and then because you weren't there, someone else sat with them because yeah. they had space today. 
And then he's like, oh, dude, that's that's my chair. And, like, your boys either vouch for you or, like, yo, man, like, uh, oh, he, like you he, snoozed. He, you snoozed, yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. No. <sighs> Good times, right? Good times. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we swear not every episode's about high school or fucking, fucking memory dude. lanes. Although, uh, nah. Although. That whole Facebook memory shit, though. That's a good Whoever idea. Whoever invented that on yeah. Facebook is like. Uh, yeah. one, one thing that we do do every episode, though, yeah. is uh, half remember facts or just completely <laughs> butcher shit. So uh, we, we always say it a lot of the times during the episodes. Like, you know, we're, we, we do our best, but we're not like fact checking ourselves while we're going through the episode because it, it fucking takes too long, you know? It does. And then you want to pull out your phone. You got to yeah. be rude. Everyone's watching you. Look at that. Fucking rude. The wrong thing pops up. Now you got to explain to people. <laughs> now you're on the FBI's watch list. Right. Uh, but I, while listening to the last week's episode, I did go through and I made a list of everything that we got wrong or everything that we weren't sure of. So I'm just going to run through it real quick <laughs> just, just to prove that we, we are capable of looking shit up. We just choose not to. So last week, remember, I was talking about uh, there was a school and I thought it was like in Maine or something that, where you can opt out of uh, Black History Month. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the school's actually in Utah. Wow, that was way off. <laughs> that was way off. Wow. But the fucking Mormons, man, they don't want to learn about black history, apparently. Uh, in Utah. We were talking about uh, Women's History Month and Breast Cancer Awareness. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is in October. Oh, shit. That's which, way off. Which makes perfect sense, because in my head, even when we were talking, I was like, no, because NFL players, they have like pink gloves and pink shoes. And, and the ribbon. And the, yeah. And the NFL doesn't play in March. I was so, but I, I couldn't like put it together in the episode. Yo, you're right. So March is Women's History Month, but October is Breast Cancer Awareness, which makes sense. You're right. You're right. Okay. Damn. Uh, okay. A parade is a single, uh, is a single event. Like it's to commemorate a special day or an event or something. Okay. A march is something that happens more than once. So like. Uh, the Blackhawks parade is a parade because it's one thing because they won and they're celebrating that they won the one championship. Right. A civil rights march is multiple marches because they're you know it's for a cause and there's more than one of them. So they're doing it multiple times to achieve that to yeah. achieve whatever they want. Yeah. Whatever they're marching for. So like a parade is you're celebrating that you already fucking did something and the march is like you're trying to do it. So can you have a parade for all the marches that you had? Yeah. After you achieve whatever you're trying to accomplish. According to Google, yes. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's dope. So it's like the parade is like an ultimate march. It's yeah, like it's like it's, the the fucking the boss battle of marches. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Speaking boss. of boss battle, real uh, quick, I played uh, Marvel's Capcom three yesterday. Oh, I saw that somehow. Yeah, I I, I think I posted it on uh, on something, but. I got to the last level and uh-huh. it was fucking dumb. Like whoever made that last <laughs> level so you lost, boss huh? fight <laughs> was stupid as fuck. Yeah, and I lost. So I didn't have a parade. No, there you go. Parade. But now you got to march your way back in there and march. demand to speak to the manager. <laughs> I'm going to march my way back to the first fucking level. Um, cornrows. We talked about cornrows. Apparently cornrows go back to fucking 3000 BC. Oh, snap. So. Oh, snap. Yeah. In, uh, apparently they did it for men first. Then women started doing it. And originally in like the 19th century, they used it for like warriors and kings. And like Ooh. the braids identified like where they were from or what like social class they were. Damn, that's dope. So that was pretty dope when I found that out. So it's like a like an ID type of Basically, thing. Basically, it was like an ID. They used it for like marit- marital status, uh, religious beliefs, wealth, uh, self-expression, uh, either like a family or whatever. So like a certain family would have a specific way of doing their braids. Oh, that's cool. So it's like if you had like the zigzag ones, like, oh, you're, uh, you're, you're John's kid. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty dope. It's like the equivalent of like in medieval times where they have like the coat of arms and like everyone in that family has like a shield with the fucking yeah. plaque on it or yeah. whatever. Uh, Stacy Pelosi <laughs> apparently is not even a thing. I Googled it and nothing came back. No one's name Result, Stacey Pelosi. Results for Nancy Pelosi came up. Like, No, there has to be a Stacy Pelosi. There was like nothing. There has to be. I mean, there's probably somebody called Stacey but Pelosi. But no one like... But no one that Google found important. Okay. Yeah, because uh, least... I was going to say... the. Uh... Fucking the one time we googled a random ass name, like we got a bunch of hits. Yeah, but yeah. apparently no one relevant is named Stacy Pelosi. Damn. Or Nancy right. Pelosi is so like dominant in the news that only her results show up. Imagine your name is the same name as someone famous. So it's you like no nothing. matter what, they're always gonna think that you're lying on an application. <laughs> like, what do you mean your name's Big Sean? No, I guess Big Sean. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean your legal first name is Big? What do you mean Big? No. <laughs> 
You know, let me see your birth certificate. <laughs> oh shit, it says big. God damn, no grande. If <laughs> if you're traveling to Mexico, no. Um, uh, it says grande. Grande, the grande. Middle shine, name yeah. burrito. Yeah, it says it right here. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no, but that's dope though. So uh, I wonder if like each family had their own like corn roll giver like the person that yeah like there. someone who does it yeah i i would imagine so especially back then because yeah probably you know less you can't just go to your local shop and get a fucking professional corn roll or hairstylist back then you couldn't yeah although back then you think like okay so i saw uh, apocalypto okay and i was thinking like what if there was really like normal shit that we have now to them, it was normal, right? So, like, going to the convenience store is, like, normal. Like, you go right. to a little grocery store. But to them, the equivalent of that was, like, going out to, like, look for berries and shit. Mm-hmm. But to them, that's just normal. Yeah. So, and, like, in the future, for us, it's going to be like, damn, you guys had convenience stores? What the? Like, they were like you had to go outside? Yeah. You know? Which I think we actually had this conversation before. Yeah, about how, like, you get everything delivered yeah. and shit. Yeah, but I was thinking about it when I was watching Apocalypto because, like, there was one scene where um the fucking... Uh, at the, have you seen Apocalypto? I think I have. At the beginning, where they like in the in the jungle and they run into this other tribe, mm-hmm. and the guy was like, he was like acting all tough, and the dude's like, my father's been fucking hunting this jungle for years. Yeah. And then to them, it was like a gang war, you know. Uh-huh. It was like, yo, like what hood are you from? But really, they're jungles. That's that true, and it's cool. like, yeah, that is weird. Like the equivalent of you being like tough of you or not not even that part but like the equivalent of you being lazy i'm like ah oh, damn i gotta put shoes on i gotta drive to the store <laughs> that their equivalent is like damn i gotta go sharpen my spear and fucking damn. stab a saber tooth all right i gotta go climb this fucking tree no um oh actually that's okay i know we're going on a rant but that reminds me my uh shout out to my coworker. he showed me this uh docuseries on netflix mm-hmm. not netflix youtube uh <laughs> called no, hold up. It's called uh, um, The Most Dangerous Way. I forgot the name of it. I'm going to butcher this, but good thing we got that fact checker. Now. No. Uh-huh. Uh, it's pretty much a documentary of a bunch of dangerous places in the world where kids have to travel to get to school. Okay, so like where your where your parents went to school. Right. So like, they had to go 50 miles in the snow. Yeah, yeah, but even worse because it's like indigenous people. So I yeah. saw the Mexico one. It was indigenous people in the mountains. This fucking little kid, like five years old, had to travel literally four hours through mountains and cliffs just to get to school but then they get to school and they have to stay there for a week because it oh yeah if i can make it worth it (laughs) exactly and the only way i mean the only reason the parents were sending him by himself was because that was his like only way to survive by the food they would give him Uh uh-huh so like you know how we're talking about lunch yeah like to them it's like okay well he's getting food out of it and an and education like it's and worth he, him fucking risking right. his life every, and if he happens every week to, if he happens to die then we don't have to feed him anymore that's true yeah but that's kind of fucked up it like, is but it's a possibility hey, little timmy didn't fucking fall off the cliff why did you have to fall off the cliff? No. <laughs> like well shit i guess little timmy's not coming back i, I guess i'll have another pork chop yeah wow they're all re- eating all rich no <laughs> right but fucking little timmy's over here fucking... getting free lunch with fucking <laughs> chocolate milks no <laughs> Yo, when and then when you buy a fuck, uh, when you buy a second chocolate milk for ten cents and you're balling, the nah, hold up, you, you the flex when you know the lunch lady. Well, Ooh, you don't know her, but like she gives it to you for free. Oh, uh, then mijo, like, she hooks you up. That's my that's my lady right there. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, September sixteenth, that's Mexican Independence Day. We couldn't remember what it was or when it was, and then Cinco Cinco de Mayo is uh to. It's a celebration of when the Mexican army beat the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla, which happened on May 5th. Oh. Um, that was the Pancho Villa battle? I guess we could look that up later. Yeah, I didn't look up that far. I just I got yeah. the fact and I was out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day, apparently it has, if you trace it back enough, it could, you know, you can find it in like ancient times, but it became big in the U.S. when Hallmark decided to make a bunch of cards. Yeah. And now it's... Uh, A hundred and thirty-one million Valentine's Day cards get exchanged on average every year. That's um, crazy. Y'all remember buying those at Walgreens and giving them out? The yeah, little, uh, fucking the little, little, little things cheap with ones. The... Came like thirty in a box. That's all you need. Yeah. Uh, the McDonald's cheap burger thing did exist. They used to do it up until like two thousand two. Okay. Yeah, the, and the it tax was, day thing. It was seemingly on random days too. Like they, the one that I saw was like on April. 
what, April 15th tax day. Yeah. Uh, not in April. I can't remember. I put the link, but I'm too lazy to click it. But multiple different days. Okay, so it wasn't just tax day. Yeah. And every family could had the opportunity to go. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't just... <laughs> When listening back to the episode, it was so hilarious. And we're like, yeah, I don't know if you guys did this, if you guys knew about this, but uh, McDonald's. You know this place, McDonald's? I'm going to give you the inside scoop. <laughs> no. uh, it's like the fucking um, the How I Met Your Mother episode when they're trying to find the best burger in New York. Oh, my God. And uh, Marshall's, Marshall's all pissed off because this guy's telling him to check out the number one reviewed like burger place. And it's like, oh, you know where you can get some really good coffee? Little Little hole in the wall. Starbucks, stupid, no, like, damn, bitch ass, bro. I gotta watch that shit again. But yeah, um, so yo, what if we just hire a fact checker? Like, I mean, hey, look, if you want free water? something, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we could give them. No, uh, free, yeah, free water, that's free shavakadoos, free shavakadoos. You want free shavakadoos? Just fact check our shit. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't take that long. I mean, it's just a bunch of Googling. But You think that's how Jamie got his job with Joe Rogan? Yeah, he's probably just really good at Googling shit. Hey, Joe, I'm tired of you fucking lying to these people. Why don't you just let me sit here with my laptop <laughs> and look shit up? tired of you fucking shit up. Yeah. Uh, Damn. But yeah, that, that's, that's all the corrections. I think that was not a whole lot. We've done worse. We've done way yeah. worse. There's multiple episodes I can think of that were worse. But yeah. enough looking about the past. Talk about the future, Trado. Damn. All right. Let's talk about fucking WandaVision. Oh, my God. Dude, you look into the future and you just mind fuck. <laughs> Bro, okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, I'm a, and you've heard this multiple times before if you're an avid listener, I like Marvel movies. I'm, I'm really in tune now. Sometimes I'm not, but for the most part, I know what's what. I know mm. Captain America between Captain Marvel and... Yeah. Right. I could tell, I could tell apart the blonde guy and the blonde girl. Yeah, exactly. But man, WandaVision, I put that shit on a shelf. I was like, ah, I'll eventually get to it. You uh-huh. know, like I saw the Disney Plus release and I was like, eh, it's whatever, you know? Like, yeah, especially, I, I thought it was weird when I mentioned it and you hadn't started, especially because you like consistently have the service. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly why I paid for it. So I could keep <laughs> so up with the it. fucking, keep up with the Joneses, as they say. Um, yeah. And then Renee was like, yo, uh, have you seen it? Because I want to talk about it. And mm-hmm. I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll watch an episode. Like, <laughs> yeah, this dude was like, yeah, I'll try to squeeze in one episode. I told yeah. him last night. He's like, I'll try to squeeze in one. Dude watched six episodes over the course of a fucking work day. <laughs> I know. It just It's so bad because I'm there working, right? I'm on my laptop. And I'll look. And if it sounds really because I have my AirPods. I was like, if it sounds really good, I'll like, look. And then yeah. I'll stare at it for like 10 minutes. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I got to get back. Bro. So That's so dumb. I, I take it you like it. I, I loved it. It was um, it was amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm Where really, do you want to start as far as like covering it without giving shit away? Yeah, I just kind of wanted to like conceptually talk about it because I feel like a lot of people, at least from what I've seen on like my Facebook feed and like what I've heard from people, they like they don't want to watch it because like you know all, all the trailers and like the early stuff it's like in black and white and it's really it's really out there compared to everything else on the Marvel right. cinematic universe. But that made me want to watch it initially. Because it was, it was different? Because it's so fucking, like, well, in general sense, they kind of go through a bunch of different sitcom uh, tropes. They do, like, sitcoms from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. Which I didn't know was going to progress like that. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just straight black and white, like, I Love Lucy type shit. Yeah, and, like, it was so cool that it's it's not just set in those time periods, but like it's written as if it was from those time periods as well. So I really liked yeah. that. And like, you could tell on every, well, at least for myself, I feel like I had a weird, a weird watching schedule as a child. Cause I, I would end up, <laughs> I would end up watching uh, Nick at night a lot. Okay. And you know, Nick at night is just a bunch of fucking syndicate syndicated old shows. Yeah. So I would end up watching like the Brady Bunch, uh, Gilligan's Island, uh, Different Strokes, uh, you know, later on, like fucking Fresh Prince and like I Love Lucy was on there as well. I used to be scared of I Love Lucy. I'm not going to lie. And like I've always been. Why? Oh, just go on. (laughs) And then I've always just been a big fan of like the Twilight Zone that came out in like the 50s and 60s. Yeah. And so watching all of those shows and then watching the first, especially the first two episodes of WandaVision, like when they're it's completely in black and white. And it's so cool how it's. It's not, if I didn't know it was brand new, I would have believed you if you told me that this, this was filmed, that that episode was filmed in that time period, you know? 
Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Just the 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 fucking the characters, like the way they talk and the yeah, way they the move. way they talk, the way they move, like the way their like actions are over the top, like they were in that in that time period, or like yeah, just er- everything about it. I feel like they nailed it. Yeah, and even like just like the crowd reaction to shit, and, like mm-hmm. the jokes, and like yeah, especially yeah. like in the well, when they were doing like the seventies one, and they had the laugh track. Oh yeah, and like that was so perfect because it's exactly how all those fucking shows That's were. That's exactly how it was, and, and then and then it, it like I don't know about you, but it, yeah, just like how you said, it reminds you of like I was comparing it to so each like generation that it would show. Yeah, I would compare it to what show it reminded me of. Mm. So like the seventy ones reminded me of obviously like uh, the Brady Bunch. Yeah, and then it was like even the house looked like the yeah, fucking and then Brady especially Bunch. like the house and the set yeah. changes as it goes. The color schemes, like the just a, a lot of little shit that you gotta look for, you know. The fucking uh, Full House was another one that Full House was a uh, was a big one. Stuck and out then to it me. got to like the nineties or like the early two thousands, and it was oh like my God. Uh, when they did the Malcolm. In, I lost my shit when I watched that episode. <laughs> The Malcolm in the Middle one, I was so happy. Oh, it was so perfect, bro. It was, it was like perfect. Even like the intro was like, yeah. damn, because like, it, it made me, it made me feel so validated. Because I feel like a lot of people uh, didn't watch Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, but I feel like it had a huge like cultural impact on like TV sitcoms. Oh, for sure, hundred percent. So the fact that they picked that. You know, to model their yeah. intro and part of the episode around makes me feel vindicated. It's like hell yeah, I used to watch that. <laughs> yeah, shit. it makes me feel like I'm correct. Yeah, you know? <laughs> like they didn't they didn't pick like uh, they didn't pick the like parody uh, Big Bang Theory. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah, they picked fucking this show and then the one that we just watched. They did like a cross between like Modern Family and The Office. Yeah, yeah exactly. Although it did remind me of um, uh, the fucking uh, the uh, the show on Netflix. I'm really bad with show names. Uh, Black-ish? Bla- yeah, yeah, Blackish. Not Blackish. Blackish is a show. Yeah, but the one on Netflix? Black with, as uh, fuck? Oh, yeah, Black AF? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it reminded me of. But wait, wait, but going back to Malcolm in the Middle, though, yeah. the, the intro, I, I honestly felt like they were going to do some type of variation of like the end of the song where he's like, life is unfair. Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about? I was like, damn, that would have been perfect, but it's probably like copywritten shit. No, it was... So... If you if you haven't watched it or if you're <laughs> yeah, on the fence up, about guys? watching no. it, I I really recommend it. And like honestly, as you know, at this point we watched episode seven just now. Yeah. And my least favorite episode, I think, is uh oh, shit, what was it? I, I think episode four. The one where they explain everything and they're like what's going on and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Where uh they finally show the outside when they show the outside world. Yeah. I think that's my least favorite episode. Because it's the most uh, Marvel-ish episode out of all of them. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially like, with the with the lady that fucking I don't know her name. Uh, the, the captain. Yeah, the captain. Yeah. So did did you catch that? That's the little girl from Captain Marvel. No. Who? The the one little girl. The <laughs> the the black girl. Oh, you know, Captain her, Marvel, where she um she's, she's the holding... one she's the one who changes the color scheme on her outfit. Is she the one that sees Captain Marvel shoot up into the sky? Yeah, you know the 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 daughter of Captain Marvel's best friend from the army. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that yeah, that's her. that's supposed to be her. Yeah, but like grown up. Oh, so the mom is the mom is who, the mom. So it's Captain Marvel's mo- yeah. mom's friend. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because remember Bro, Captain Marvel, okay. the first movie when we first met her took place in the nineties. And now it's current day, so it makes sense that she's an adult. You're right. Yeah. No, I didn't even put that together. Yeah, and then yeah, I thought it was really, really clever how they did that. And then she was one of the people that disappeared in the snap, so that's why yeah you know, she she wasn't around during any of the other stuff. Which I like that they showed people coming back in that mm-hmm. one episode. Again, we're bouncing around, so if you haven't seen it, I mean you're gonna you're gonna see this and be like, Oh, this is what they're talking about. Yeah. Uh the episode where she gets in the hospital and like her mom yeah. obviously I like that they showed her coming out of the blip and like mm-hmm. just like everyone's running around like trying to figure out what the fuck because you only get that perspective from uh, the Avengers like the movie where you know that or no you get it too in Spider Man yeah that's in what I was high gonna say school. but yeah. in, I feel like when you do it in Spider Man they kind of did it as like a joke they didn't really go into it too they much they didn't really show kids actually coming back to life right yeah. yeah like they didn't show what happened where like in the hospital scene. They really everyone's show. fucking losing their shit because people are literally popping out of thin air. 
Yeah. And poor lady is like, oh, where's my mom? And the lady's like, oh, no, like, I, we don't have time for that right yeah. now. Like, we're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Well, yeah. I mean, fucking, you yeah. got somebody asking you about one specific person, and fucking Pedro from down the street just came back out of thin air. Yeah. That's kind of dope. Fucking Pedro, I imagine. Uh, but yeah, there's just a lot of cool shit with that, with the show. And obviously, you know, if you're really out of the loop, it's got like all, <laughs> you know, the same character, the same cast as the actual Avengers movies. So that's really yeah. cool how they're keeping with that. So yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. watch it. I don't, I don't want to go into too much detail because it's really cool. And it's just, I, I love the first few episodes because you're just so confused. You don't know what the fuck's going on. Honestly, I thought it was going to be black and white the whole time. And I would have been cool with that. And then there's one scene that reminded me of Schindler's List uh-huh. where uh, the, the, she finds the little drone oh, in the yeah, bushes the, the and it's red. Or the drone, the helicopter. The yeah. helicopter and it's red and it's like everything's black and white, but then that's red. Yeah. And it's showing you like there's some, some change is about to happen. Yeah. You know? I that's thought cool. initially I thought that was going to be like what made it transition. I thought the second she picked it up, it was going to become like full color. No, but then that bitch started bleeding. <laughs> and the bitch yeah. started bleeding. <laughs> Which, I mean, okay, I know uh, we're going into detail, but man, that, that episode where they do like the, the magic the show, ma- yeah. and dude's all drunk off of a piece of gum, <laughs> it's like, what's wrong with you? He's like, oh, I was just with the guys, you know? <laughs> with the guys, I had a piece of gum. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, that was so funny, man. It's Yeah, and it, yeah. I love how they, they chose to do that in one of the black and white, like from the 60s or 70s. Yeah. Because that would never be like a plot point in like a modern sitcom. They had to do it during that time period to make it fit. To you make know? it fit, right, right, right. Yeah. It was just perfect. Like the the stories and everything that's written, like it was it was dope. I highly recommend it. Like I'm mm-hmm. telling you, I just wanted to watch one episode and it turned out to be six. So Yeah, and it, and it makes sense. After I looked into it a little bit, the the director of the show, Matt, Matt Scommon, mm-hmm. he's apparently just done a lot of shit. So I feel like he's just a fan of shows and he just watches a lot of shows because he's also Ooh. directed a lot of shows. Like I wrote some of them down. He's been, he's directed an episode of the boys, you know, from Amazon. The boys is, uh, he's directed multiple episodes of game of Thrones, multiple episodes of always sunny in Philadelphia, multiple episodes of the good wife, Fargo, Mad Men, new girl house, God Chuck damn. weeds. Everyone loves Chris, uh, that was a great one show. tree hill. So he's done like a whole bunch of shows and a whole bunch of different genres over a course of years. So I imagine he just loves watching shit. Yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me if if he grew up watching all like all these sitcoms and just start pulling it from Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I feel. It's like the equivalent of how people say the Marvel cinematic universe is so good because Kevin Feige controls everything and he's just Who's a that? Fu- Kevin Feige, the guy who controls everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! You talking uh, about the guy that controls everything? Yeah, yeah, he's basically the guy who's like, is he like a uh, he's VP, like CEO, what the is he? super like the super producer? Super I guess you could say the yeah. superintendent, the super Nintendo charmers, oh, super super Nintendo, <laughs> <laughs> super uh, Nintendo charmers though. from uh, from the Simpsons. Because uh, uh, Ralph, you know, he's like, kind of dumb. So instead <laughs> he of saying say it. he's yeah. instead of saying superintendent, he says super Nintendo. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> speaking hold on. Speaking of Ralph, uh, I so I have a printer and I, was, and I ran out of ink, right? Uh-huh. So I I, uh, I hit the group chat and I was like, "Damn, dude, ran out of ink! Like, what do I do?" And one of my guys is like, "Oh man, imagine Trado scribbling on a piece of paper with a crayon." <laughs> and then he put a, a a gif or a gif, no, uh, of Ralph, and uh-huh. I was like, "I'm a crayon," and it's like <laughs> stupid, no, <laughs> dumb. No. Uh, yeah. So Kevin Feige, he. Oh right, right, right. He's like the the main mastermind. So like you know how every every movie has its director, it has its producers and stuff. Mm-hmm. But he's like the producer of the producers. Oh. So like every movie that happens. So like the director and the producers, they're in charge of the one movie, but he's in charge of all of the movies. Oh okay. So he's the person so he who he oversees the whole universe. Yeah. So he's the person that makes Damn. it so that when you're watching Captain Marvel, it makes sense with Endgame, or when you're watching Iron Man three. It makes sense with uh, the Winter Soldier. So he's the person who's in charge of that. That's kind of dope. So, you know, Yo, what do you think his col- his Marvel collection's like? It's fucking massive. Like, he probably has Robert Downey Jr.'s fucking, I don't know. Probably has the real Stark's Robert Downey glasses. Jr. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, damn. Yeah, so, you know, the, my point with that was people say that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is so good and well put together because that guy genuinely cares about it and like him 
growing up, like that's all he did. He read the comic books and he fucking loves them like yeah. inside and out. And I feel like this director guy, he probably grew up watching a shitload of TV and like he loves the shows that he's now trying to mimic in his show. And know? it works. I don't know. For some reason, it just worked. The yeah, whole idea of Wanda just, you know. It doesn't come off like campy or like, it, you believe it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, and it kind of it's that's just like the theme of it. It's like, damn, what are they gonna do next? You know, right. like once you start to catch on. At first, I was like, no, that's still black and white. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, but once you start to catch on, and it's like, oh shit, okay, what's what's coming next? You know, mm. like, and I like really how cool. it's it's a show within a show. So like, characters on the show are watching the show. Oh my god, so I like, want to talk about that. Yeah, there's characters on the show that are like hooked on the, like they're like oh my god like they're trying to piece things together the same way you are yeah yeah so that, that was a really cool like meta inception-y type thing i guess also it gave me uh a, a, it, remi- it reminded me a lot of uh that jim carrey movie uh the uh, truman show the truman show yeah i just took a shot in the dark and oh, I got that was it right. perfect yeah you know like it was like wait you're in the show but then you get to know characters and you're like oh fuck mm-hmm. that's crazy that he's doing that i guess i don't know when when you were growing up, what was your main show like? The your most favorite show of all time? Mm. I can't even talk. I'm all nervous. Shit. Uh, I don't know. That, that, I feel like that's a way harder. Qu- do you know that answer? I do know that answer. All right, well, okay, you go first then. What what was your favorite show growing up then? The nanny. Oh fuck yeah! You've talked about this before. <laughs> uh, Bro, it was just perfect. I don't know. I honestly don't know what it what would be my favorite show. Okay, scratch I just watched, that. I just watched a lot network? of everything. I think growing up, my favorite network was Cartoon Network. Oh, yeah, but I those think kids. Nah. from like 12 or 11 forward, it was uh, Nick. Because I think Cartoon Network had better shows and then Nick got better shows. Damn. Or maybe like the demographics that they were trying to hit. It just, is different, and I like grew into the demographic that Nick was trying to hit or something. I, I don't know. Do you realize that Nickelodeon's been or like shows like SpongeBob have been around since we were like little? Yeah, and people and are still, still fucking, fucking cranking them out. I uh, I hung out with uh, one of Cindy's uh, a couple uh, Cindy's friends, uh-huh. and I was talking to to the guy, and you know we were just talking about like random shit, like how we are now, and then uh, cartoons you know came up mm-hmm. and then he was like yeah you know i grew up on this this and that and i was like i well i've never i've never said this out loud driver. but uh, i never been to uber driver i've never said this out loud but i used to watch this show that was kind of girly and i've never admitted to it uh-huh. and then he immediately was like as told by ginger i was like oh my god how the fuck did you know that i didn't like that show you didn't, what i, I, I like gave it as i gave told it a, by ginger? i gave it a fair chance i would always watch it whenever it was on but i didn't like it Life is much greener on the other side. I know the theme song, bro. But the I just didn't, I didn't the like jar. the show. I didn't like the okay, show. Okay, was it was it like just the style of? I think it was honestly. I think it was probably like the animation style. Yeah, I didn't like it because they had the same style as like what the like Wild Thornberries. Also, didn't like that show very much. Animation I liked it. Style. I liked it better than As Told by Ginger, but I still didn't really like. Wait, but then the they had the same style as Rocket Power. No, didn't really like the Rocket Power. Yo, we're about to cancel this show right now. You didn't like Rocket Power? Like, if I had to put it in order, I'd like Rocket Power more than uh, Thornberries and more than As Told by Ginger. So by no means is it my least favorite show. Okay, hold on. I would just put other shows on top of it. Yo, we're going to do an impromptu rank right now. Let's do our top five Nickelodeon shows. Top five Nickelodeon shows. You, you have time to think about it. We're going to throw a bunch of shows out there right now. Okay. And then you, you mentally place them where okay. you want them, okay? So, like... I mean, shit, Cat Dog, that was like an amazing show. Cat Dog was on Cartoon Network, wasn't it? No, 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 it was Nickelodeon. You sure? Cat Dog, 100%. All right, someone's going to fact check us next <laughs> episode. <laughs> All right, yeah. Cat Dog, I liked. Oh, The Beaver Show, I like that one. Uh, Angry, uh, Beavers, Angry Beavers, yeah, yeah. See, that um, was a little too dark for me sometimes, though. No, nah, that shit was funny around, as hell. Like, that and like uh, I Real Monsters was always a little too dark. I used to be fucking terrified of Pinky and the Brain at one point. Oh, that one was Because the intro scared the shit out of me. And it's funny because Pinky and the Brain wasn't even its own show. It was a show within a show. Wait, it was? Oh, it was a show it within the Animaniacs. Animaniacs. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So I forgot about that. You were terrified. Yo, oh. You were scared of a segment <laughs> of a show. Ah, Pinky and the Brain! <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. It's like... No. 
It's like it's like having a favorite song and you're scared of the chorus. <laughs> Shit, I don't fucking lower the volume. Of the chorus <laughs> you lower the chorus. Well, you know it's twenty seconds long. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, hold on. So. Pinky and the Brain was in its own shit? No, it wasn't a standalone show. It was like five, six minutes within the Animaniacs. Do you remember the show that was like a fucking... Maybe it was within a movie, because now it reminded me of that. It uh, was like a, a raccoon and a fucking moose. A raccoon and a or moose. Or like a, like a squirrel and a moose. I think it was a show within a show. Oh, or a show within a movie. Oh, uh, and the there, dude... There was the, the weasel and the baboon on Cartoon Network. The fuck is that? I am weasel. Oh, that sounds so familiar. Yeah, the weasel was like super smart, and the baboon was like illiterate. <laughs> was that like cow, uh, cow, chicken, chicken and cow, cow and chicken, cow and chicken, cow and chicken? Uh, kind of, kind of the same show. Yeah, I used to love cow and chicken. Cow and chicken was cool, but cow and chicken was on Cartoon Network. And See, that, this is what I mean. Cartoon Network had a lot no, of better shows in the no, beginning. No, they didn't though, because Cartoon Network had shows that were cool, but they weren't. They weren't like kid friendly shows if you think about it. Johnny Bravo, fucking. What do you mean, Johnny Bravo? A fucking man in his mid thirties who womanizes people. That's the ultimate dream. No, <laughs> that's just setting you up for a fucking a slap in the face. No. And let me tell you, there's <laughs> a reason I wear black t-shirts every day. No, bro, like <laughs> to this day. <laughs> oh, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah, also on Cartoon Network. Like, fuck it, right? Great show. Yeah, but. Dexter's Laboratory. That's my number Dexter's one. Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, yeah, great show, Cartoon Network. Uh, no, but it wasn't as good as Danny Phantom, though. Danny Phantom was better, but that came around. That came out when I was like twelve. Yeah, we we're a little bit older. Yeah. yeah, which was dope because it reminded me a lot of Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, Fairly Odd Parents. Same, also up there. Yeah. Same creator. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Neutron. Hundred percent, Jimmy Neutron. But I did like it less than Fairly Odd Parents. I think I only like Jimmy Neutron for the movie. But the crossover episodes, that was fire. That was fire. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of like irrelevant shows. Like, I mean, I didn't even remember about Jimmy Neutron until you said it. Really? So. Damn. Okay, so then top five. Let's let's break it down. Well, can I go across both networks? Oh. See, but then we're leaving Disney out though. Fuck it, throw Disney in there then. Oh, Phil of the Future? Oh, okay. It's not going to change my top five, though. Uh, fucking Even Stevens? Well, are we talking cartoons or live action, though? Oh, that's a good... Yeah, because yeah. there's a subcategory. Yeah, because those action, are both live action fucking, shows. That's what Raven all day. But it wasn't really a sitcom, though. Was it? Yeah. Because are those considered sitcoms? Like, that's what Raven fucking... Yeah, I guess they're sitcoms. Drake and Josh, though. Drake and Josh. That was Nickelodeon. That was Nickelodeon. Yeah. Fire. The Amanda Super Show. Fire. The Amanda Show, uh, um, all that, all that, Keenan and Kel, yeah. See, but those are like the shows that people remember. Like, yeah, I'm trying to think of shows that were like, oh fuck, you're right, that was. Uh, well, I mean, obviously you didn't like them, or you'd remember, <laughs> like Double Dare 2000. There you go. See, that yeah. was a cool show. I like that one. That was a really cool show. Yeah. Uh, but okay, top five uh, top across five. across all three, uh, only or excluding live action. I oh. think I'd have to go with. Uh, Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You could throw PBS Kids shows in there too. Honestly, those were kind of weak. What? Those are like the fallback shows when you couldn't watch the other shows. Nah, those are the shows like when you're homesick or like sick from yeah, your home, yeah, your homesick from your home <laughs> quarantine. No, you're quarantining from school because you got the sniffles. Yeah, but the, the, dude, there was this one show where it was like uh, came right after Arthur. It was like a fucking math show. You remember that? You don't remember the math show? Okay, well... Oh, well, that's a terrible description. Don't look at me I like know. I'm the one who... <laughs> they were, like, in outer space. I'm, I might have been, at this point, like, 15, but this is... Are you talking about Cyber Chase? Cyber Chase, that's what it was, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it, like, a mathematical show? Like It was, like, all... about math, I think, yeah. Yeah, right? And it was, like, this weird bird yeah, with and the like backwards the, hat. The main villain was, like, green? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Kim Possible. Kim Possible is fire. Yeah, Kim Possible. The Weekenders... Yeah, the Weekenders. The Weekenders was dope as fuck. I know of the show. I don't think I. I don't think I liked it. Uh, I mean, there was Recess. Damn, but then oh, Recess we, was good. We got to also throw in the Saturday morning shows. Yeah, but w, I, uh, was that uh, WGN? Yeah, but they just showed shows from other networks though. So, so Recess. So was, Reese, oh, like Recess was Disney. Yeah, I think Recess was a Disney show. Yeah, they right. just happened to like buy the rights to show it. And, like Doug and shit. Yeah, yeah. Doug was Nick as well. Yeah. Yeah, so fuck, that's a lot of shows. I can't even keep it straight. I know for sure my number one is still going to be uh, Dexter's Laboratory. Because even the shows within that show I liked. Yo, 
Real, real, real question. Mm. Would you hook up with Dexter's mom though? Bro, she's got an absolute Bro. dump truck. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I don't know how the fuck his dad. Uh... <laughs> Bro, hold on. Can we sub sub category? Who was the baddest out of all the cartoons? Because the assistant for the mayor in Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, but you couldn't see her face. What if her face was ugly? Oh, that's true. That's true. Dexter's mom. You know what her face looked like. So you know what you're getting into. That's true. But she always wear those gloves. Oh, Powerpuff though. Girls too. Powerpuff Girls is dope. I mean, she could take the gloves off. She could leave the gloves on. Fuck, I don't hands. care. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave the gloves on. <laughs> what if she has weird hands? No, 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 Leave the apron on, too. What? Just the apron and the gloves. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, like, I don't know. Like, maybe you want, like, a cool, like, like a stay-at-home mom, like Arthur's mom. She seemed nice. She was a stay-at-home mom. She always She always worked on her computer, though. Yeah, but in, like, the 90s? What the fuck would she be doing? I don't know. Because the dad was a chef. Yeah, the dad was like a yeah, like a chef or like, like a, a like a legit chef, like a baker or something. Or like yeah, chef or baker, one of those two. But she was always on her computer in the living room. Nah, maybe she, she did taxes. Yeah, maybe she had to do something because I can't. I guess the nineties were a weird place. I was just say they, <laughs> you can't afford that house that they lived at on a fucking chef salary. That was a nice house with the attached garage. Or I don't know, maybe they lived in the middle of fucking nowhere. They did live in like the suburbs. Did you ever try to keep a snowball in the fridge? I did. Freezer? Didn't work. No, that shit. Fucking liars. I know. I sued them. No. Wow. All right. So, Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter's that's Laboratory. Your, that's your first one. You're yep. going one through five or five yeah. through one? One through five. All right. Uh, five so, I'm going to do... Hard. Okay, you do one, I do one. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. So, my number one is Rocket Power. Rocket Power. Okay. okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, Life as a Teenage Robot was a good one. Damn. Life... Oh, you're right. That uh, bitch was indestructible. Basically. She was and like her... Vision before Vision. Yeah. And her uh, little ponytails? Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go with the Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think I'll go with Ed, Ed and Eddie, for sure. Yeah. Then I got to put Ed and Eddie in there. That's three. Okay. You, how about you do yours and I'll do mine? Wow. No, I'm getting confused. <laughs> and then... Oh, my God. This, this is tough going back. Oh, you know, this one was like really late into the game. But uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends was really fun. That one was I like that show. I did like that. I'd, I'd put that one at four. Dude had cool hair. What? He had like a bowl cut. Yeah. And it was like a little curtain. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Just making sure we were thinking of the same thing. Yeah, with the little uh, blue guy, right? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with blue. Which they were all like alien or ghost or what were they? Well, they were imaginary friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> no, Foster's friends are imaginary friends. friends. Like, duh, that was the whole point of the show. Yeah. It's in my head, I was like, damn, no one can see these people. They must be ghosts. <laughs> That's why I didn't watch it so much. I thought something scary was gonna happen. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, and then I'd probably, I'd probably go Danny Phantom to, to round it out. Danny Phantom was dope. There's a conspiracy that Danny Phantom uh, is just uh, Jimmy Neutron all grown up. Cause he has the like the little black friend, <laughs> then he has the other friend. It's supposed to be like AJ and. and Are you talking about uh, uh, Timmy Turner? Yeah, what did I say? Fairly Odd Parents. Well, you said Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, no, exactly. I meant Timmy <laughs> Turner. What did yeah. I say? You said. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you were Timmy talking Turner. about uh, yeah Jimmy. Oh, that was the show Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Yeah, no, not Jimmy Neutron. That was super different animation. All right, so that's all right. So that that's my five. I'll, I'm happy with that five. So you got to finish. You you said right. Ed Ed and Eddie. So I got Rocket Power, Ed Ed and Eddie. Yeah. The Weekenders at thir- third spot. Ooh, okay. That was a good one. Um, the Weekenders at third. See, I don't know, because then there was times where I would be super into like Fairly Odd Parents, but then SpongeBob was also really big too. That's like, true. Old think... SpongeBob was hilarious. At the time, though, I don't think I but liked it that much. You're right. At the time, it wasn't. It wasn't until like. Like the SpongeBob movie came out, where I was like, you know what, this is actually, yeah. I missed this. All, um, all I'm taking away from this episode is we need to do a TV show bracket. A hundred percent. Okay, so I have Rocket Power, uh, Ed and Eddie, Ed and Eddie, Weekenders. I'm trying to mix it up. There was also damn, this is hard. It yeah. is hard. Yeah, that's yeah. why I, I think a bracket would be good. 
Because then okay. we could actually look things up and remember all the shows that we're not thinking of right now. Because there's got to be more. There has to be more. All right, fuck it. I'm going to throw... Uh, did I say Recess? No, you didn't say Recess. I'm going to throw Recess in there. And okay. then to top it off with the fifth spot, I'm going to do Rugrats because that was like an OG. Oh, I forgot about yeah. Rugrats. Yeah. And then they did All Grown Up and fucking ruined it. Oh, that was <laughs> stupid. And they had braids. Oh, braids. They had, <laughs> no, they had braces and shit. It was weird. Well, they were grown up. Yeah. Damn. All right. So, yeah, let's fucking do a, a, a network broadcast uh, bracket. Thing. Yeah, I like that. We should. Where we'll do like East West is like Nick, Nick versus Yeah, like Cartoon each one network. is each uh, division or uh, network. Yeah. I like that. All right. Yeah, that'd be dope. Uh, so, all in all, dude, fucking WandaVision. Awesome. Good show. Watch it. It's it's like a what, what do people say? It's a love letter to sitcoms. Ooh, because it's like a homage to right. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Ah, good shit. Yeah. Uh, that actually took us to about fifty minutes. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, fuck wanna it. Cut, we, we could end it here. Yeah, cut there and then we could bounce back with the other topics. Yeah. Um, Trey without a radio. Eventually, we'll be on the network. But for now <laughs> and then people can debate on where they put it on their bracket yo imagine it's like yeah i used to watch trail with our radio before they had cameras no. I don't oh know. shit yeah before they had cameras yeah. i used to listen to that shit when uh when it was audio only it was audio only when they had music in their episodes dang uh, that's that's the first time i heard you easy no. damn the trail without a radio uh next week we eat a horse no we eat a horse no, next week we're taking our shots 100%. All right, we'll take the shots next week for sure. Yeah, yeah, we got to do our vaccines next week. All right, we'll both take the shots. All right, sounds good. Travel with that radio. Tune in next week.